got into blacksmithing purely by accident because about 10 years ago I was made redundant for my office job and in the local paper it was advertising the fact they needed someone to sweep the floor, cut up pieces of metal a few days a week and once I started working there then I became entranced by the notion of what I could potentially achieve. I mean, it's, it's a physical workout consistently. Uh, you're standing in temperatures that can be ranging from minus five degrees to over 100 degrees Celsius at times. Uh, you're swinging heavy um, objects into nearly molten pieces of metal. You've got mental workouts with um, use of maths, uh, English design constantly. There's no part of your body that is able to rest. There's very few items that go out that we haven't sworn over. And there's other times when uh, a commission goes out with enough blood, sweat and tears in it that we can theoretically call it a relative. And those are the ones that are the most satisfying. Working in a traditional forge is a very interesting experience. Uh, during the winter months, We've come in and there's been a layer of snow that's coming through the holes in the roof. In the height of summer, you'll be in here and because of the thick walls, it'll be hotter inside than it is outside. The soot that's embedded into the wall, you've got the, the smell of the place which is permeated into every single crack and crevice there. So even on times when we haven't used the fire for a week or more, you'll come in and you'll still smell the hot coals. But this is a working forge and that's a key thing is the fact that it's not just opened up to the public on weekends it is a working living breathing forge and so you come in here and you can't do anything but do blacksmithing